You might be asking yourself why I got on three different greens and two different camos. It's because I'm taking y'all to Green Joe Boot Camp. Let's go. We get high like it's Friday. You know I put that shit on, man. That Whoa. shit on. It's time to get these Green Jaws busting, bro. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Some people use millet. You can use brown rice. Some people use birdseed. Some people use oats. Shalgum. Popcorn. You got a lot of options to choose from. I like to use popcorn. You can use your own choice of grain, whichever one is available to you or easier to access. Pharmacology yeah, shouldn't be so hard. You should make it easier on yourself. Get your scrolls ready, son. Booga. Alright, now remember I told y'all you had a variety of grains to choose from? Yeah, Most yeah. of the times I use popcorn or brown rice, but today I'm gonna put y'all on to my little secret. Hell I'm gonna put y'all yeah. on. Hold on, wait, wait, wait. Sometimes I like to get fancy and mix them. So that's what we're gonna do today. We're gonna get motherfucking fans. Yeah, yeah. You ain't seen this before, huh? Alright, let's get to it. Um, you also gonna need some mason jars because you'll be pressure cooking this grain. You're gonna pressure cook it to sterilize it. So you can use the regular mason jars or the ones with the modified lid. Huh? These lids are modified to create fresh air exchange. Depending on the humidity of your area, these may or may not be a good idea to use. Fuck around and dry up your grains, man. What the fuck? All right, now it's time to open these bad boys up. It doesn't really matter what brand you get or how expensive or cheap you go with it. Just try to go for food grade grain. It's often cleaner and it's less chances of contamination. Yeah. FYI, now this is the one time I recommend great value. Believe that. If you like me, go great value and get real cheap on them boys. Oh, yes. Now, after planting the rice for several minutes, because you a big ass kid, right? Okay, don't be ashamed, I did it too. You're gonna then proceed to fill the bowl up with water. Now, you're gonna let them soak for at least 24 hours. The reason you want them to soak is because you want your grains to absorb all that moisture. And as they take in moisture, they're gonna start swelling up. Alright, we're gonna let these soak and then we'll come back to them the next day. I hope these bitches don't disappear here. Now, when you take the top off, you'll notice that your grains have doubled, almost tripled in size. Let me pick some of this up for y'all. Now, I know what you're thinking. And yes, I'll give you permission. Go ahead, play it again. I'm just showing y'all how puffed up the kernels and the grains done got. But try not to put your hand in this shit. Cause this shit stink. Boy, do this shit stink. It smell like ass, boy. I had no idea that popcorn and rice smell like this after you let it soak for 24 hours. Is this the shit we putting in our stomach? Uh -huh. God damn. Rinse some of that stank off if you can. I don't know if you can, but try to get some of that stank <laughs> off them kernels. <laughs> so it stinks after all. All right, now we got to scoop all this out this bowl. Yes, sir. Scoop it. Whoop, 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 whoop. Yeah, got to scoop all that up in there, man. Because I don't know about y'all, but I want all mines. Yeah, I need all mines. All my little great value dollar worth grain. Nigga. Now, when you loading this grain into these jars, Please leave a little room in there. Maybe about three, four inches from the top. You're gonna break and shake your grain jars to go ahead and help them colonize faster once they colonize to at least 30%. Time to load these grain jars up. Make sure you have a little trivet at the bottom. Fill it up with water until it covers right over the trivet. You're gonna take some foil and cover the lids of your grain jars. That should help keep any excess moisture out when you're pressure cooking. Pressure cook at 15 PSI for at least an hour and 30 minutes. Okay, so let me explain the importance of grain jars. Uh -huh. Grain jars allow you to have more grain when you're spawning to bulk. Also, you can take one colonized grain jar and split it up amongst many grain jars. So basically creating an endless supply of clones. Wow. Boy, my grandma would whoop my ass if she seen me wasting all this rice. And my mom would probably beat my ass if she seen me wasting this pot. y'all some grain jars ready y'all ready for the next level y'all got y'all some these grain jars is the next step up from the uncle ben's tent so it's gonna be exposed a little bit more often to air i tend to think that it colonizes a little bit quicker when i use both of those types of grain y'all come fuck with me on my patreon man because my shit is big i'm gonna start giving away prizes real soon to show my appreciation thank y'all to the community man y'all show me a lot of love man and this is what keeps me doing what i do i appreciate y'all thank y'all for that Oh, and you already know the deal. What are you waiting for? Subscribe. Do it! I'll see you in the next video.